All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. I think I will need to hear that again. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. The answer is swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Listen to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You... That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go die from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too! You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. <laughs> Sutungar, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable.
I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. This strange magic might the ACA evade our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. The trail! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You would gamble with uncountable lives! For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Uncountable 
thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Arvi, but not your own. We will see. Hidigan said to find her Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face! Oathbreaker? I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga? What of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotna into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was, and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear... I will kill you, here, and now. You are out of favor, Strixer, and you are welcome to try. Why wait till Ragnarok when you can die now? No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! Finished. Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! Gone. So who knows what mischief. But I will not see him again soon. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. 
Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, Keeper of the Well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asa. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. Gunlutha warned of chaos and change. I would know the cost. Azir blood will infuse this water, and the poor humans of Midgard will be forever altered. What happens then? None can say. This is what the others feared, but then they always cared over much for vermin. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hoogur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The Mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this Mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to ask God to save my people. Come, settle your mind, and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. 
I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this meat, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. Back to my forge? Yes, until your debt to me is paid in full. It was the dwarves who made the world a trading post. At least we trade in goods, not people, slave master. I'll be glad to be back on the ground, away from these angry skies. Javi, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And 
what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. I smell something sour. Wear the collar. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. these things. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fate.